Like there are legitimately people that will call me and be like, I will never order from here again. Do you think I'm upset about that? Take your ass on! watching Monty's Madhouse with this YouTube channel I'm gonna be bringing you the best work from home tips that have helped me in my work from home career that can help you in yours too so without further ado welcome to Monty's so Madhouse. a little bit about me I am a work from home stay-at-home mom and I'm also a college student so my schedule is really really busy I have to do my homework make sure I'm at work on time and make sure my kids taken care of so I think I can offer you guys a couple of tips and tricks on how to balance your work from home schedule or balance your work from home schedule in your home life and you can maybe offer me some as well. The first tip I have is to get up early. It's good to get up early when you're working the work from home jobs because we fall into a pattern of since I work from home I don't have to get myself dressed, I don't have to do anything with myself, I don't have to see anybody so there's no point and the point is you need to look good for yourself. I know it may not sound like it really matters but getting up getting yourself dressed getting your makeup on or doing whatever you have to do is going to make you feel good and make you be more productive during the day i say get up get dressed put your makeup on feed your kid get everything done that you have to get out the way and sometimes i even do my homework if i wake up early enough it's just all about getting things done and starting the day out fresh and making sure that you get fit in enough time the second tip I have is to leave the house. If you don't do anything, leave the house. I know sometimes it gets like hectic with your schedule and you just don't even feel like the need because you're just so in your house and you're in the zone and you're doing your work and you don't need any outside things. And we're, it, we live in a technical technological society where we could just order anything we want and it will be right at our door and we don't have to worry about it but get outside it's good to get fresh air it's good to see other people and see other humans it's nice to get out and make sure that your whole head space is right it really helps out for your work from home life. so my last tip that's gonna may help you may not is keep a schedule i have so many planners for so many years. Here's examples. I had this one last year and it says follow your dreams and know the way. I don't know if it helps you but I really like the inspirational planners that say like fun stuff. This was my planner from 2017 and if you can tell I fill these things up. I have a good page. I fill my planners up. I think that you need to put everything that you possibly can in that planner to make sure that you don't miss anything out of your day. I even put sticky notes in my planner sometimes if I run out of room. Like here and this week, I ran out of room on this day, so I put sticky notes in there. It also helps tracking stuff. Like if you want to know, when did I start that? When did I do that doctor's appointment? When did I get this done? It helps so you can look back and see what went on then. On top of that, I also have a dry erase board. So this is usually in my office hanging up so I can know what my schedule is going to be. This is an old schedule. I really need to update this, but this is an old schedule. I guess I know I have an infatuation with pink. All of my planners are pink. And this is my new planner for the new year. And this is in place your inner unicorn. I think that everyone should have a good planner. I get excited about buying planners. I don't know about you guys, but what I spent $20 on every single one of those planners. No regrets. I like to be organized. And I think that's just how I was raised. I just really like to be organized. So I just really love my planners. So those are all the tips and tricks I have for you for making your work from home life a little bit easier. I will come back with some more. Those are not all the ones I have in my arsenal, but I'm gonna keep on posting these videos because I want you guys to like me. I want you to like me, okay? If I could hypnotoad this thing so you can like me, I would. But, I can't. But, thank you for watching Monty's Mat House. You have a good day.